And welcome back to the show. Joining me now is Newsmax White House correspondent John Gizzi, who's going to give us the latest on the resignation of Secret Service Director Julia Pearson and how the White House appeared to change their position on this entire matter in just a 24-hour period. John, you know, I always expect right. to see you in a hat with a press thing in there. <laughs> you know, you're just that old-school press reporter oh. thing. Well, if I knew I was actually going to be on the Malsberg show <laughs> with Rick Unger me. in person, I would have not only worn the hat, the tux would have come, too. Oh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> all right, so you have been all over this White House uh, story. What oh. is going on here, or what did go on is the better question. Well, like a lot of my colleagues in the White House press corps, Rick, I feel as though I've been in a washer-dryer on 24 hours on Wednesday and Thursday. On Wednesday, Josh Earnest, the White House press secretary, said on three occasions that Select Secret Service Director Julia Pearson would not resign her position in the wake of the fence jumper Omar Gonzalez getting into the official residence. Uh, when asked if she submitted her resignation when she spoke to the president, he said she did not. Asked if the president had confidence in the Secret Service and Ms. Pearson, he said, absolutely. That seemed to me a wrap for a story, and I reported it that way. Well, the next day, after delaying the news conference for two hours, Josh Ernest came out and announced what all of us were hearing. That's Julia interesting. We didn't know that. There was a two-hour delay from the normal time of the press gaggle? Yes, I was supposed to be there at 1 o'clock, and they announced it was delayed until 3 p.m., and they finally held it at 3.30, which meant I was able to finish my lunch that day. <laughs> uh, in any event, Julia Pearson did an abrupt 180-degree turnabout. In part, that's due to a couple of the Democrats, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Elijah Cummings, the ranking Democrat on the Government Reform Committee. Do you think it was about the Democrats finally getting around to the point of view of she's got to go, or do you think it was more about the elevator story which the president apparently didn't know about until an hour before the rest of us. You've just described, Rick, a one-two punch. Uh, Congressman Elijah Cummings and Congresswoman Pelosi were not impressed with Director Pearson's testimony, and as they were calling for an independent review of the Secret Service, the story broke about the man in the elevator with the gun, and that was too much. She spoke to the Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson, tendered her resignation, which he accepted. And at the delayed news conference, again, delayed two hours, and then held another half hour after that, Josh Earnest said the president accepted the resignation. An independent panel will look at the Secret Service and on December 14th submit recommendations for reform and for a new director. So I, w I do want to ask you about the... the the man who's coming in to, uh, to be the temporary head. But first, I, I need to ask you this, because you're somebody who's been on the beat there for quite some time. You've mm -hmm. seen people come and go. What surprised me the most, be, given that it's the Secret Service, which is you know, an agency that we hold in very high regard, sure. I would have thought that the director would have, as we say, fallen on the sword at the first sign of this trouble. I was surprised she even made it to the congressional hearing. Okay. That's very difficult for Julia Pearson to do because, remember, she did not start out as the favorite to succeed retiring director Mark Sullivan 554 days ago. Uh, my colleague George Condon of National Journal quoted a source as saying she hit a home run with the president and was truly his personal choice. That's not necessarily true, is it? Pardon me? That she hit a home run with the president. Was he that big of a fan of hers? Uh, George Condon reports that, and I okay. trust him as a source, certainly. So in the short time we have left, what are your thoughts on the man who's going to be stepping into the job? Well, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Well, the except, temporary. Let me put it this way. The real story is that after Joe Clancy, a 30-year veteran... Joe is the veteran, temporary head, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, a 30-year veteran of the Secret Service who retired before the recent scandals came up. He will be the stopgap director until they recommend a permanent director December 14th. I don't know if Joe Clancy wants to go back to work at all after a nice retirement. I will say this, uh, Josh Ernest certainly floated the idea of an outsider and that would be the first outside non-Secret Service director since Frank Wilson in 1936. So John, I'm out of time. 
I wish we could talk about this some more. I truly do. You, I love that you're right there. You'll come back and join us. When we return, it's the best of Gimme Five. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us.